Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be trying to get these super limited units and I'll start tower defense. But first I think I need to buff up my units. Let's do that now. Ow. Now that I've buffed up my units, I can finally be useful in the raid. Okay, sorry for the background, there's so many little children outside. But anyways, um, basically how this event works is it's a JoJo's event. Uh, you have a chance to get these rare units up on screen right now. Uh, and I want either those or Speedwagon or both. But uh, yeah, that's the raid. Oh yeah, and before we get into the raids, I just wanted to say that there is kind of a major plot twist. Yeah, I have to do this, like YouTube thing, but there actually is kind of a plot twist on the units I get. So uh, if you want to see the units I get, watch at the end of the video, and let's get on with the raids. Okay, so real quick, I just wanted to explain my strategy. Basically, upgrade idle until she's not buff, then upgrade speed wagon, and then you see this, right? Okay, I have get him uh, speed wagon max upgraded. Oh, the raid's ending. Yeah, and then usually I'll come over here, place some of these guys, or oh, I don't want to report. I don't want to report. Bro, I don't want to report. I didn't even mean. Okay, I didn't mean for that. I just wanted to show you guys that I placed Luffy after that, and these guys. Bro. That actually happened! Okay, so I'll be uh, doing a little mini review on weather report right now. So let's place him in the front. So immediately I notice he's. He said he was a burn damage, but it doesn't say that here. Maybe on a certain upgrade. Okay, so let's hit an enemy. 3.2k base. So uh, let's just spawn it. Uh, yeah, 500 HP. Okay, the test on me. Got one shot, so let's do an upgrade. Let's see. Okay, so burning burn. Okay, that's when they burn. 119k burn with no buff and just um starting uh level, just level one. It's pretty good. It's actually really good for a burn unit, especially for starters. So let's upgrade them again to firing. Okay, I don't know about 13 XP. That's kind of kind of crazy. Spawn a couple of enemies and see how he does. Yeah, that 13 SPA really is not helping. But I think here, let's test them out a little bit. Upgrade, okay, seven SPA. So I don't, I think it's still worth it to upgrade. But let's let's get an idle buff going. Let's just test it out with idle buff. So let's activate that. So five million 13 SPA, pretty good, pretty good. Let's uh. Let's Let's see how he does. Okay, it looks like they're just all getting burnt. Yeah, burn damage on that's kind of good, like kind of crazy. Five million on level one. The thirteen SPA, meh. But honestly, pretty good unit, especially for like starters. And honestly, I think he could probably do around ten to nine million max upgraded. Maybe if his SPA was like ten, he'd be a lot more viable. But yeah, it's actually pretty good for a unit like that. Okay, I'm gonna be real. At this point, I was getting desperate. It's been a couple of days at this point, and I haven't gotten anything. So I make a deal with Lucas. He gives me this cool unit from this anime I've been watching called Bochi from Bochi the Rock, and I give him 300 fireworks. Now, this probably wasn't the best idea, considering, you know, fireworks, uh, the chances for the units got buffed, but uh, you'll see later that this definitely was a horrible idea. Okay, guys, so uh, as you probably just heard, uh, I was gonna trade with Lucas, and I still am, and he's still gonna give me it, but, uh, I just got another one, so. Hello, Cameron from the future here. I lost the footage of, like, the original trade with the Bochi, but, uh, those were the 200 fireworks, so, yeah. Now the thing you guys have all been waiting for is the review for the unit I got. It's obvious, obviously Bochi. Okay, first upgrade, you know, 10k, pretty decent. Honestly, for how cheap she is, she could be the story mode meta. Uh, let's spawn in two of these guys. Actually, let's, let's a little help. Let's, let's just... Yeah, okay, that's that's not good. I spawned in two craft guys. So, as you can see right here, that's her first ability, 10k. Then we have 52k for a second, and then you got secret. And then that's the secret right there. Let's see it one more time. So that pretty big A uh, A O U. Okay, you will her five forty three K. I think honestly this could be pretty good for story mode. Okay, and 
Let's just place some over here. I didn't mean to spawn some more on the shelf. But uh, let's let's upgrade to this. So you know, pretty pretty good damage. Twelve SPA though. That's it's not the best, but you know, get the damage increase. So it's actually worth it. And then there's no burn or anything. Sadly, I mean, I, it makes sense to get a burn, but she just sadly does not. Holy crap! Okay, that's some crazy effects. But uh, 3.28 million damage. Idle buff numbers will be up on screen now because I forgot to bring idle. And uh, yeah, that's the butcher review. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.